Hey guys, I will be looking at this uh, figure from the uh, Dragon Ball Super Brawly movie. It's um, probably full power. Um, you, bump the camera. You never see him, uh, you know, release a f figure of him in his base form. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, just so you could have both, because who doesn't like buying more stuff? Um, this kit was, I would call a little on the higher end of with these uh, figure rise standard um, kits usually run uh, but he's an enormous figure so it's probably worth the cost um, I think I got it at Barnes and Nobles when they were having 20% um, off coupons and you get to use your 10% membership so it made it really palatable uh, and I've always wanted to do one of these because I think they're really neat and I've always liked Brawly uh, if you've both the Brawley movies are great, but if you've ever seen the Team Four Star abridged version of the original movie, that's that's hilarious. Uh, adult content, though, not like naughty naughty adult content, but language-wise, let's 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 just go with that. Um, no real reason to go over the box. The box just kind of talks about, it and I don't uh, speak uh, Japanese, so or read it, so. There's not much I can tell you, although they've been better about um, putting uh, English on the boxes because um, I guess they realize that they are getting a fair amount of business over here in the States. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the figure um, and kind of go over what you get. Right now I have it on a, just a figure stand. It doesn't come with a figure stand. Uh, there is a mount hole in his butt uh, to uh, put him on a stand. It um, comes with a little clear adapter, so I put it on, on a clear stand. Um, though most of these uh, multi-purpose stands for Gundams have uh, the right pegs for this thing. This was specific for it and married up well. Um, this is the figure. I um, it came with decals for a lot of the scars and the tongue, and um, and this bit here on his um, sarong. Let's go with that. Um, but if if you watch the movie, you know what it really is. And I won't tell you because I don't want to spoil it. Um, uh, I don't like using decals where when, when possible, so everything. All the detailing was hand painted, all the scars, the tongue, um, I panel lined black around the mouth and I did some panel lining here on the feet uh, just so that stands out and on the underside uh, for the shoes. And I used Nuln oil to do a wash on this because it had texture to it but it was kind of strange looking um, without any definition to it so I, I just did a quick wash with non oil uh, large brush just washed it all over it kind of brought the tone down a little because it was kind of a uh, a brighter green and I think I'm happier with uh, this look of it um, what else? Um, I think that's all the major detailing I did to it it does come with um, oops, accessories and some extra diddly bits uh, also it um, is based off the original figure so you wind up with a baggie of parts that are really meant for the original figure but as for the alternates that come with it you get a um, slightly less angry face and um, you get open hands and you can use these um, with other figures uh, specifically a Vegeta and um, a Goku uh, like you're grabbing them because they come let's see if I can get this in one shot 
it comes with uh, extra faces for those two f kits if you get them. I think they're trying to rope you into getting two more figures to go with them. They're pain faces for Vegeta and Goku. Pretty good detailing. I also um, detailed these faces with a little bit of known oil uh, for the eyes and ears. Just kind of make them stand out a little better. And then you wind up with a bag of parts. I need to <laughs> secure this table better. Um, it has the original Brawly faces. I kind of like this sneer. Um, and I painted the earrings gold. I'm not so sure if that mouth will fit in this one, but I know, I think it, I'm not sure I could put one of the other eye and eyebrow sets in this one to make it work. It'd be neat if you could. <clears throat> also, his hairstyle changed slightly, and if you want, that's still in the box. It's kind of got that 1990s split down the middle look. Um, there's that. Um, and he originally had like a necklace on uh, the original character so there's a different chest and shoulder and they have peg holes for the necklace that he would have worn um, it'd be not I was hoping that would have been still left in the runner but it wasn't and then there were these clear parts that went on um, arms and the leg cuffs it was like jewels or something um, I might get the original figure just so I have the two to compare. Um, all in all, I really like this kit. It's um, the plastic wasn't super hard. It was a nice uh, softish plastic, not like flexible, but it was really great to cut. And if you've got a reasonably good set of nippers, uh, the the uh, nub marks come off pretty clean, and then just a little uh, once over with a craft knife, and then run it backwards over it, and it smooths out perfectly. Only like two or three spots that I have to um, do a little bit of um, finish work with a with a nail buffer um, you know it's got like four different grits on it those things are only like four and five bucks from a beauty shop where if you go and get you know a, a set of sanding sticks from any craft store you're gonna spend ten dollars or more and for doing little stuff and as quickly as you can run through these things, it's definitely worth the cost. Um, what else? Um, <clears throat> really, that's about it. I, I really did like this figure. Um, I think if I get enough likes, um, who am I kidding? Whether I get the likes or not, I'm probably gonna go get the Goku and Vegeta figure um, one way or the other. Um, next, I think I'm gonna do the uh, fusion dance, uh, what would it be, Gogeta. That's I got that kit too, and then I have I had to get the Vegito, um, but um, once I get another coupon for Barnes and Nobles or one of the shops around me have them on sale, I'll probably pick up the other two figures because I'll show you. It's on the box. I'll show you. I guess I should have showed the box. Back up a little. Oops. Yeah. I'm on the wrong side of the box. These are, yeah, that's the Gogeta, and these are the Vegeta and Goku figures that I want. Yeah, so you can use the grip hands uh, on there, and they have pain faces. Just swaps out. Here it is. So, I think that'll be fun to do. Uh, I like that pose. Although it looks like in this, po you can point that toe more, but. The I guess that is the one negative to this figure is those ankles have don't have enough articulation for me because I would have liked to have pointed the feet down more so you get that more like he's levitating look. Um, but all in all, I'm I'm happy with it and um, I'm definitely going to do more of these and probably cover more of my other model kit builds. Um, so. All my uh, links are down below if you want to see uh, more of the kits I do. I post most of that stuff to my Instagram. Um, those links are below. Um, what else? So we're uh, still climbing in subscribers. I was surprised after the last 
um, model build I posted, I jumped up a couple subscribers. So I've got, uh, once I hit 100, I've got kind of a, a special video I'm going to try and do. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've got my own, I made my own YouTube play button because it's going to be a long time before this channel ever gets one of the official ones. But um, now that YouTube has the newer button out, it's actually easier to kind of make a knockoff version of that, so that's what I'm going to make for my 100th subscriber uh, once I hit that. So, as always, thanks for watching, and get out and do something.